Well, hello folks. Today I'm going to put together this Auto Gyros T580. I got this from Nitro Planes. You know, I'm flying all kinds of stuff these days with no tail rotors. I can't wait to put it together and see how it goes. The brushless motors are 600 kilovolt, which also included two spare shafts and one extra orange propeller to change to the X mode. All the metal parts are anodized aluminum and very finely machined it appears. The electronics are all connected to a 3S battery by a Dean's compatible type connector. And all the speed controls, six gyro sensors, and a board that allows up to eight channels to be operated from the transmitter for camera tilt fixtures, etc. are all on nicely. Of course, being the night flyer, I added lights, which are also available from Nitro Planes. Originally, I put the lights on the top to shine up on the blades, but since this is not an aerobatic quad, but, you know, a camera platform, I've now changed them to the bottom to make it easier to see. The total weight of mine with the battery is about 650 grams. It can lift 580, however 230 is what they recommend. This ABS plastic is rubberized. This aircraft's fully built and flight tested. Altitude hold is achieved via an integrated barometric sensor. Reading along here, if RC signal is lost or interrupted while in flight, the aircraft will immediately self-land. Hmm. Well, it doesn't say anything in the book about a BEC, so hopefully this thing has one. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Okay, we got a binding light there. I've had really good luck with the uh, Gen Zace batteries and the Sky Lipos from Nitro Planes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this 2600 for this uh, initial flight to see what happens. The board is mounted on really nice soft rubber shock absorbing stuff. Good. Tighten the prop on. A little Loctite on this. And that goes on there. Alright, let's power this baby up for the first time and see what happens. Get this baby trimmed out.
gyros are really work. <laughs> I can tell you that. That is cool. Well, so far, this has done a pretty good job for me. I have no issues putting it together. It worked perfect the first time, as you saw. So, uh, I recommend it. Now that the machine's passed its pre-flight testing, the wind should go down tonight, and I'll give it a good old night shakedown. So, please stay tuned.